Hi guys, here we are, 4915 Eldred Street, Highland Park, California, first day of construction. Here we have the main living space. This space will be completely gutted, all the paneling taken off the walls and basically ripped down to the studs. The main living quarters will basically be pushed out the front of the house. So where we're standing now, this all being bedroom space, uh, maybe a small portion of it to be, uh, you know, living space. We're going to add a five to seven hundred square foot addition out the front of the house, which will include in this addition the kitchen, the dining room, the living room. So basically, what we're going to be doing is creating a great room space. Our intentions with this property is to take this old little small stucco cracker box that we have here that has no character and turn it into a craftsman. So week two, start of construction, demo is completed. Uh, getting ready to work on the foundation here as you can see. Let me get, take you through a little run through of what we got going. We've added uh, 624 square feet on the front of the house, which will be a uh, new great room, kitchen, dining room, living room area, bringing the entrance out to the very, very front of the house. We've taken the back of the structure and we've turned it into four bedrooms with two bathrooms. Uh, we've got at the very back of the house, 200, 200 square feet of the house, about 250 square feet of the house was unpermitted. We've uh, went ahead and demolished that and are going to rebuild it and permit it. Uh, where I'm standing right here used to be the garage. This was a very small garage because this house was built in 1920, so it barely could fit a model A in it. We'll be popping the holes all throughout the concrete, uh, putting about an inch and a half we went to the fill dirt on top of the concrete and then we'll uh, put rebar down so we can attach it to the old concrete and we'll pour about four or five inches of new concrete throughout the backyard to give it a, a real fresh new look. As you can see we've received our final permit. We've uh, gone ahead and completed all the demo on this project. Uh, this is a little 548 square foot house, two bedroom, one bathroom. What we've done here is uh, we've added about 700 square feet to the front of the house which will act as a uh, huge great room which will have the kitchen, the living room, the dining room in it. And then on the rear of the house we had an addition that was uh, not up to code. So what we did there is we went ahead and demolished the whole addition. We started over, we put a new foundation back there. We're adding 250 square feet to the back of the house which will add, act as the uh, master bedroom. We've poured the concrete foundation. We've completed 90% of the rough frame on the house. Standing behind me here, uh, we'll have the, uh, a new porch that will come out six feet from the house. Today we've got uh, electrical, plumbing, heating and cooling going on. Uh, the house is moving along very rapidly. Let's step inside and take a look. Behind me, we'll have a huge 10 by 12 L-shaped kitchen. We've added two huge windows to the front of the house to bring in the natural light and give it a real open and airy feeling. Where we're standing right now will be the, the, the new living room, family room area. And uh, we've added three new bedrooms with a master suite, two new bathrooms. Let's take a look at the back of the house. Here we are in the master suite. As you can see, uh, we've added nice vaulted ceilings to the master bedroom. We also have a nice big master bath directly behind me. To the left here, we've got a, a nice walk-in closet. We've added a huge sliding glass door, which will give the master bedroom its own access to a nice private area here. Uh, as you can see, there's still lots of work to be done. Welcome back. Uh, as you can see, since last time, it doesn't look like a lot has been uh, changed, but uh, there's actually been quite a bit done. You can see we've uh, completely scraped the front yard, we're formed, we're ready for uh, concrete, we're pouring a new driveway, putting new 
plan. They're going to give us some nice detail. Uh, all the wrought iron for the house is actually being fabricated right now. So that'll be going in uh, next, at the end of this week, beginning of next week. As of now, we're about um, a week to a week and a half away from completion on this house. Here we are in the kitchen. As you can see, the kitchen cabinets came out really, really good. Uh, plenty of open space to put a nice sized dining room table. Uh, the living space came out uh, tremendous. The wood wall, all of the, uh, the windows add great amount of natural light. The front door brings in a lot of natural light. The vaulted ceilings make it feel very, very airy and open. Just a really, really cool part of the house. Okay, here we are in the master bedroom. As you can see, we've uh, continued the vaulted ceilings, which is also bringing a nice airy feeling. We've got uh, a couple of great windows to the rear of the house, the uh, double doors that open up to the back uh, patio with a walk-in closet. And now we're in the uh, master bath. Uh, as you can see, uh, came out really cool. The wood tile again in the shower really gives it a great fill. Uh, nice space. This is the third bedroom to the rear of the house, right next to the master bedroom. Uh, we have this set up as an office. Uh, all three of these front bedrooms are about the same size. This has got a very nice window that uh, looks out the side, also brings in quite a bit of light. Uh, nice closet size, very nice hardwood floors. This is uh, also a great space in the house. Here we are in the front bedroom. Uh, pretty much the same size as the back bedroom. The front three bedrooms are very, very similar to each other. Uh, again, very nice light. Um, we've got it set up as a bedroom. You can see with the twin size bed, uh, more than sufficient size to fit a, a, a full or a queen. Um, again, very clean finishes, custom closet doors, uh, just a real nice space. Uh, also, again, very cool. We've got uh, the Kohler tub, uh, Kohler toilet, distressed uh, wood vanity, um, subway tiles all the way up, nice window to bring in the light. Uh, again, a very nice sized bathroom, a very modern feel, uh, really cool. The backyard came out very, very cool. We've got the stained wood fences that are up, uh, you know, about seven feet high. Uh, all new concrete around the whole house. Uh, got great big trees that create a lot of shade in the back area here. Super cool place for entertaining. Um, just a real special spot in the house. Uh, real good access from the master bedroom. Here we are in the front of the house. As you can see, we added some uh, a beautiful wrought iron fence to the front. Uh, really uh, accents our uh, nice stained wood fences. In the front of the driveway here, we've done a, a series of uh, circle cutouts that we've put grass in. It gives it a, you know, quite a bit of character as you're driving into the lot here. We've got a huge front yard uh, full of grass, uh, three huge fruit trees, a persimmon tree, a lemon tree, and a peach tree. Uh, we have the traditional green door that uh, we love to use uh, off the gray siding. It just looks fantastic with the white trim. And again, around the front porch, uh, we've uh, added our little custom wrought iron detail. It really gives it just a, a real nice craftsman look. Uh, this house is a beautiful house. This is Heath Rogers. Thank you for watching.